what? We encounter conditions and people who will meet what? Who will meet those conditions, that, 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 um, that image, that construct that you have of what reality looks like. You now pull that in to your hologram because that's how you're gonna support it, which is what I talked about with the storyline. For those of you who don't know, I'll just throw that out real quick. We talked about storylines and the fact that everybody has a base storyline that you're operating by. And you're building your life based on that base storyline. And with that said, it was bringing an understanding to the fact that when we talk about the fact that our needs are being met and that we are always in abundance, I brought that around to show that it wasn't just fluff, that your needs really are being met. It's just you have to redefine what your needs are because you're meeting the, the needs of your story. Everything you need to meet the conditions of what your storyline is, is available to you, and everything is in abundance. Everything, and I talked about an abundance of poverty, an abundance of, of bad relationships, so it's so abundance, you really are in abundance. <laughs> you, just have to, you just have to look at what the abundance is that you got going on. I looked at that. And man, when I looked at that, I was like, no wonder I'm always broke. <laughs> I got too much of this going on. I got like ample amount of it. So now you got to like, Change that whole thing because that's where all your stuff is tied up. Now, why is that significant? Because we'll say money because that's always a big thing. Why is it that maybe you're not rich? You might not have that kind of money because if you had it, it would affect your storyline because your story don't call for all that money. <laughs> and if you have a lot of money, it's because your story calls for it and you get all this other stuff. That's what we have to start seeing. The, your, your story only calls for what you need according to what that base storyline is. And if you've got <coughs> issues that you can't let go, you're going to be attracting everything you need to keep that story going. As to what, I'm not doing that, or what you're not doing for that person, or whatever it is. And your whole life and all the choices that you make in your life is based on that, down to the very career that you will choose, down to what you will do for what you call a living, will be based on all of those conditions. Because everything must line up to meet what your needs are to support the storyline. So now you just gotta figure out what the heck is this base storyline. And when we did the, work, the, the workshop, I did stop and I had people Look, and, and many people, I think everybody was able to go, oh my God, this is what I've been doing. This is what it is. This is what I've been doing. So how do I get off this wheel? And that's how I ended up doing part two, is how the heck do we get off this wheel? And it's so crazy. This, this game to me is so profound and so fascinating that I get tickled and pissed at it. Like all at the same time. I'm happy and then I'm like, ugh. <laughs> because now I have to try to figure out what the heck to do, you know, how to move beyond this. And then it's not just that you, you figured it out. You Okay, now you figured it out. But remember what I said. You have a model of reality that you have been living by. So what has to happen now? It has to get torn down. And that's the part, that's the challenge because now you have to write it out. You gotta wait for it to, sometimes it might take a little while, sometimes it might not, it's, it's up to you. It's the interference patterns that we've talked about in class. You run interference. Oh yeah, I know it's changing. Oh, I don't know if it's changing. Oh no, I don't know, what should I do? So then you dip in and start doing all kinds of stuff. Then you, then, then you slow up the change. So then you decide to stop again. So then here you are, so it seems like it's taking a while. You gotta be able to walk, walk that plank. You gotta be able to